Okay. Hello, everyone. I have Jody joining us today. And um, thank you for being here, Jody. Thank you for having me. <laughs> so let me just introduce Jody to all of you who's watching this. Um, I work with Jody's three daughters. Or I have worked with her three daughters. And I just wanted to interview her and just ask her some ask you some questions for everyone that's watching this. Um, and so yeah, so thanks for being here. So yeah. I'd love to just ask you, um, my, fir my first question for you is, um, what made you decide that you wanted to do, co you know, you wanted to do coaching for your, for your daughters? Okay. Well, I, um, was in sort of a unique situation because all three of my daughters are college age and they were all living in different places, actually in different states. So, um, and they each had various things that were concerning me. And I, you know, was looking to find a therapist or something, you know, near them. And when I saw your ad on Facebook, I looked into it and uh, thought, wow, this looks perfect because they could do this in the privacy of their own dorm rooms and, you know, develop a relationship with you and be able to, you know, um, just work with you over the Zoom appointment. So, um, but, you know, each one had different self-esteem issues, some cutting issues, some eating issues. So there were a lot of different things going on for each girl. And I just felt like, you know, being able to have somebody that they trusted and they could talk to. And, and honestly, I was looking for help even for myself because I was trying to coach them and help them myself and being a mom that doesn't always work. So I knew that they needed somebody that they could talk to, you know, outside of me. And, and so that's where I found you. <laughs> and I love it. And then had you, um, had you tried therapy or other types of counseling with your girls before? Yes. And, um, especially one of them was just, just didn't like anybody. <laughs> So immediately she loved Brianna. So um, <laughs> I knew that we had hit a home run there because she's very difficult. And um, yeah, different people. She had complaints about everybody that she had gone to. And so, um, you know, and this, like I said, it, it worked really well for them to be able to do the appointments, you know, in the privacy of their rooms and, and didn't necessarily have to go anywhere because that was a time constraint. One of my daughters is an athlete in college and she just has very little time. So, you know, this worked great you know for everybody so. amazing so i'd love to ask you what would you say are the main the main changes that you've seen with your with your daughters wow well all of them like i said came with different um my youngest daughter she just um you know had some issues with some cutting and just low self-esteem and just very worried about everything and you know i noticed right away as soon as she started working with you that she um when she would get tripped up by something i would see her texting and she would tell me that she was texting brianna you know too so she knew immediately when she would start obsessing about something and she would reach out to you for help and um you would you know offer a little tidbit here or there and she would be able to get on her way and i just loved that she had access to you when she needed you not just yeah. once a week um yeah. that was just tremendous because if she had to wait until next week to talk to you about what was bothering her right now she would have been stuck in that cycle so yeah. um, i saw a big difference with her right away just you know having different tools and different, you know, thoughts that could help break her out of what was stressing her. Um, so her first semester in college went great, you know, and I, and I know that a lot of it was because she knew she had you um, to kind of walk her through some of the, the stressors that she had. Yeah. That really she may not have known what to do and she would have gone back to the old behaviors. So um, that was, you know, what the big difference I saw for her. Um, with my other daughter, just, oh, just leaps and bounds with that one, you know, she just is, um, you know, really, really grown and changed and she just loves you. And she tells me you're her favorite. I mean, that, that she's your favorite out of all. Of <laughs> I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. She's like, Oh, I'm totally her favorite. She loves me the most. She's my girl. And I'm like, okay, you know, but just knowing that she has, um, you know, a good, healthy person to talk to, not just her, weird drunk college friends to talk to that she has somebody <laughs> solid other than her mom or her aunt you know to talk to and can give her some counsel and advice and talk her through um she tends to have um panic attacks and um 
and in those moments tends to make some irrational decisions and and potentially harm herself so you know i'm glad that i know now if she's getting in that mode that she would be able to call you right away and and walk her through that and yeah. find some healthier alternatives um versus the things that she was doing before because she just really didn't know how to deal with these uncomfortable feelings she was having and i know now she's been given some tools and skills that she can go to that instead and so um, I just see a tremendous difference in her um, mood and, and just her peace about her and just the way she handles things when she does get upset. Because she still gets upset. She'll yeah. still have a panic attack here and there. But it's like she knows how to recover from it much more quickly. Right. And, and Instead less, of staying less, in it for yeah. so long. Exactly. And, and yeah. not doing anything harmful, you know, in that mm -hmm. moment. So that's a tremendous relief with her. And my oldest daughter, um, you know, I just see, especially with body image and just the way she's always been very self-conscious about the way she looks and she's tall and gorgeous and thin and she just didn't see it that way. And she always seemed to think she had this over here and this over here and, mm -hmm. and this didn't look good. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see what you're talking about, but she was always very conscious of the way she looked and checking in the mirror all the time and just never seemed satisfied with herself, just overly body conscious. Conscious. And I was just telling her last night that I, she's never talked, she doesn't talk about her body at all anymore, which is amazing. Oh, you know, just that she's just at peace with it. I'm sure there are still moments, I'm sure there are still times, but it's not like that constant obsession where she's thinking about it all the time and worried about it all the time. Yes. She's eating healthy and she's just making peace with her body is, is her body. And, and that's huge. Her body. yeah, huge huge difference because she's never, I've never seen her have this kind of peace her whole life. And she's 22. And this is yes. the first time I've seen this kind of peace in her with her body. And, and that's just one aspect for her. She's many other things I see her um, dealing with and, and working through and just, again, coming up with, you know, um, different tools that you've given her about meditating and, and breathing techniques. And, you know, I hear her meditation CDs playing at night when she's sleeping, oh. like, you know, she's, <laughs> you know, she's using the skills and the tools as well. And, and I see her also just, there's just a different calm and a piece about, you know, all three of the girls that I did not have six months ago. Um, you know, yeah. I was really, really concerned six months ago about each one with different issues. And I feel like everything's, you know, I mean, so they're teenage girls, so there's always going to be something going on, but they're at least, you know, everything's manageable and, and much more peaceful. So. Yeah. You know, what's so interesting. Like I, I, I'm trying not to like cry or anything, but mm -hmm. it's really interesting how, because I've worked with all three of your girls mm -hmm. and like, I, I feel it's weird, but I feel like I'm part of your family. Yeah. Yeah. You <laughs> I don't are. know if I've you ever are. told you that before, but it's like, even with you, just like, I feel like a connection. It's not like I'm coaching yeah. you or anything, but yeah. I just feel so, so connected with this, yes. with your family. And it's just yeah. like, that's like a wonderful feeling, you know? Yeah. And I feel like, you know, your, your daughter is like, feel connected with me too, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's just, it's so important. Yes. So important. Yes, they definitely do. And I think what would be cool is even if like one were having an issue and they couldn't quite solve it with each other or something like I could see them being, well, you need to call Brianna, you know, <laughs> like they, they know now, like this, you're our go-to, you know, yeah. like, we're not sure how to figure something out, you know, like we'll, we'll call you. And it's just great to know that you're available, you know, to us in that way. Yeah. So. Yes. What would you say, um, you know, for the moms that are watching this and they're like, I don't know, it's an investment, you know, um, what would you, what would you say to that for moms that are not maybe willing to put in the investment or not sure that it's actually worth the investment? Mm -hmm. Like, what would you say to those moms? Well, I would say that, yes. I mean, especially with me having three of girls in, in um, <laughs> coaching right now, um, it's definitely a big investment, but it is the best thing I can invest in right now. I realize for them, my girls have done everything from lacrosse um, tutoring, you know, SAT tutoring, uh, horseback riding lessons, singing lessons, 
everything. So I have spent lots of money on them on many, many other things to help build their self-esteem, to build their confidence, to teach them skills and talents and all these great things. But um, I realized probably really just most recently and by working with you that the, if there's not a core foundation for them internally, all the horseback riding lessons in the world is not going to build their confidence. All the singing lessons in the world are not going to um, yeah. make them be able to go out and perform in front of people if they don't feel good about themselves. And this is just the, the core foundation to strengthening my daughters. You know, I found, I, again, I can only speak for myself, but yeah. for my girls, I see it, that this was the best investment I could make in them. Um, and everything else that I do for them will build on this because they need to have this internal strength first or, you know, like my one daughter, she was in Los Angeles and she was a singer and she had a beautiful voice, very well-trained voice, very uh, expensive coach voice. <laughs> um, and, but she didn't have the internal strength yet to be able to go out and show that to the world and present it to the world. Mm -hmm. And I think now as a result of coaching with you, you know, she is much stronger internally and now she can, you know, go out there into the world. But without yeah. that, um, you know, the same thing, my other daughter's a little cross player and, you know, with, if she's a mess and she weighs a hundred pounds and she, you know, can't get her panics under control and her eating, you know, under control, then she's not going to be an effective lacrosse player. You know, exactly. so she had to do that internal work to get strong. And, and now this year's probably going to be her best season ever because Amazing. she's in the best place mentally. Yeah. You know, and, and she'll be able to, you know, really kick butt with everything else. So, yeah, I mean, like you really get it, but the internal work is everything. Like, yeah, yeah anyone it's not there and yes. all the other stuff doesn't really matter it doesn't you know, matter at all yeah they can you can pay the money for i mean i've paid the 1500 dollars sat tutor to get her score <laughs> up. i paid that and that was great and it got her into those colleges but if she's not then going to be strong to go to college and be confident while she's there then you know what was all that other stuff worth then if exactly. she's not happy if she, with who she is inside? I mean, at the right. end of the day, that's what it all comes down to. And that's right. the most important thing. Right. You know? And if they can't, you know, I mean, I've always said this, even just about, um, you know, schooling, you know, that you go to college and you learn how to speak French and do calculus, but if you don't know how to uh, budget your time and budget your money and all those things, you know what I mean? Like, this is to me, the same sort of thing. Like she can, you know, have this amazing grades, but if she can't cope with the stress of being in classes and she's throwing up every day because she's so stressed out, then mm -hmm. what, what good is any of that? You know, yeah. like I want her to be a strong person. I'd rather her grades be a little less but her being able to cope with the stresses of college and life and and everything else that you have to deal with because you know life goes on but if you know they're not strong enough to deal with whatever adversities are coming their way so this has just been you know the best investment that I've made in mm -hmm. these girls I, I truly honestly from my heart believe that so um, I would recommend to any mom you know to seriously look at what you're investing in you know for their extracurriculars or whatever and and figure out a way to fit this in because this can make everything else go much more smoother and easier and and they build on that so mm. you just said that perfectly <laughs> oh my gosh i'm like i'm like everything you're saying i'm like yes yes yeah. Yeah. well i mean i like i said i'm speaking from complete experience you know with all three of them and i wish i would have found you sooner honestly but it saved me a couple of years of some, you know, difficult. Yeah. Times. And if I can add one thing to what you said, it's interesting because here's another thing, like your daughters are ready for it. You know, I know one of your daughters, um, a year ago, wasn't ready for it. Right. She wasn't ready to make the change. And so yes, timing is everything. So mm -hmm. you wanted this, but timing was perfect because like they wanted it too. And they were right. like, they're ready. They're like, okay, I'm ready to do this. And that's really what it takes to change and transform your life. Right. You know, right. but I think it's so key to offer them that opportunity. Yeah. Something that as moms, 
we have to at least let them know that this is an option for them and it's available for them. You know, like I think, you know, and especially with the way um, your sessions work, like I said, that to me was key that they had that privacy in their own rooms. They could talk to you like this. Yeah. They didn't have to go to some weird office where they felt uncomfortable. And what if somebody sees me there? And what if, you know, like even on their college campuses, my daughter didn't want to go to the college counselor. Cause what if somebody else sees me going in there? And what if she tells somebody else? Because, you know, you know, like they, they were worried about the concerns of that. And um, so that was kind of shutting her down about the whole idea of any kind of therapy or coaching. She's like, no, yeah. it's not going to work for me. And I'm like, well, let's just try this and see if this works. And right away she was like, oh my God, this is like so different and this is amazing. So, you yeah. know, thank goodness, you know, but, but I think it's important for us as moms to, you know, present them that this is an option you know, and, and see if they're open to it. You're right. I mean, you, they have to be open to it too, but, it's Th but yeah, to... no. And thank you for saying that. Cause it is true. Um, if you don't present it to your daughter, whether you believe that they're ready for it or not, right. They might surprise you and be like, yeah, yeah exactly. like right. yeah. you didn't think that they would want to do something like this. And they're like, yes, let's, you know, I'm ready. Right. right. So yeah, mm -hmm. I love what you said. Um, Thank you so much for, for everything. Any, any other last words that you want to share? But I mean, thank you for coming on here and, and speaking yeah. to all the moms that I know are watching this, that I know can probably like relate to you with some of the things that you have, you know, just talked yes. about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. So and um, moms, thank you so much for watching. See you later. Okay.